Hello, sports fans. Welcome to the Broadcast Booth. I'm Jason Aaron Goldberg, and this is Car Collecting Shenanigans. While you're here, hope you'll subscribe. It's February 15th, 2023, and in this episode of Fat Pack February, we are ripping some legit fat packs, baseball fat packs, not value packs, not hanger boxes, legit baseball fat packs the way they were meant to be. And they're toughies. We're going to get into some heritage. We're going to get a little archives and a little big league. Hope we can pull some magic. But the super duper exciting thing is in the dugout today, my Wander Franco Stadium Club Redemption has arrived. It was arguably our biggest hit from the eight breaks of Hanukkah. So after we rip, we're going to send it down on the field. We will reveal the Wander and then hopefully look at some highlights. We have got the captain, number two, Lego Jeter, number two. Ready to go. Kuku, are you ready to go? Hope you are. Just saw that they dropped a uh, preview of Ted Lasso Season 3 coming out because you got to believe in the fat pack. Believe. Okay, I'm going to go in this direction. Very difficult products, one and all, but uh, it's fun to rip actual fat packs. I mentioned it previously that fat pack February was a little difficult to put together because most products are not making true fat packs i'm really sad that there's no ginter uh stadium club uh gypsy queen anything like that however i did just uh, see that ginter chrome is going to drop at the end of the month it's very exciting hopefully i'll have a box of that to rip and share with everybody and then of course we'll get into more of the auto relic adventure nice donny baseball we can go pretty quickly through these fat packs. Because they're kind of old stuff. All these, A lot of these guys are on different teams now. Boy, all these guys are on different teams. Carlos Santana. Oh, this is such a class. I'll always remember this. When he had the game-winning hit and just ran around doing the airplane. That was awesome. That's so fun. I'm going to set it back there just because that was a good one. Nice. Francisco Lindor looking sharp. Schmidt. I wonder if Cattell Marte is going to do something special because I always pull his cards and he, uh, he doesn't really do. You know, there's a blow up. He's like been an all star, but I feel like he's primed someday here to have like a 40 homer season or something like that. Blackman. Nice. Might have to send this one to uh, our honorary executive producer, Francisco, big White Sox collector. Byron Buxton. Pretty cool. Oh, there we go. Nice little. PC card right there. Juan Soto. Set that back there. Pretty cool. Oh, we got the orange parallel of that. Soroka. Oh, there we go. An all Jewish team stud. Max Freed. I think Max Freed, he'll be due to get a nice big old contract before too long. I think the defense, you know, it's big league, so it's not big monster hit stuff, but I think the Soto just is a nice looking card. I like the look of it. Gets, gets the captain to first base. Now let's do a little archives before we get into the heritage, because we know heritage, going heritage, but we're believing in the fat pack, and hopefully we will get ourselves something really cool. Uh, we got something really cool here. Oh, something feels a little, see that? Sticking out, kind of changing the color there. I don't know what that could be, but we're going to find out together. Nice, Orlando Cepeda. Bonus Wagner. Look at the size of it. He's got two bats or one bat. That thing just looks huge. Or it's in motion. All right, so I was reading about, you know, guys that are going to have huge years, and they were talking about Nico Horner was ready to have a huge year in 2023. And I am hoping he does because I have some nice Nico Horner rookie cards, a couple autographs. Dylan Cease and Desist. This is one I love the, that they add this mid-50s set. So it was a fun year for... Uh, archives okay line gary carter and we've got it we pulled an auto i was gonna say that seemed crazy that does score jeter autos score the captain believe in the fat pack i thought that looked a little weird sticking out there it wasn't like design i was uh expecting to see tom henke Definitely look at that highlight at the end of the show. Give you a little more information on Tom Hankey. And it looks like we've got a numbered card, too. Of course, it's not of somebody we really want to get these days, but uh, 
who knows? You know, he could go on a redemption tour. An auto and a numbered at a 99 in one fat pack. That, folks, is why you got to believe in the fat pack. You just never know. Nice, Rizzo. Sure would have been cool if that numbered card was something uh, to get really excited about. Well, I'm pretty stoked by that. So Jeter scores and Nico Horner rookie card. And we're still going to show that baby off. So we're going to have two autos in this episode. That qualifies as a solid episode of Fat Pack February. This is our only like substantial baseball rip in Fat Pack February because I did not even post uh, the Topps flagship rip. I mentioned it in the last one because it was just awful. You know, fun inserts, all that, but no hits, no numbered cards, no big rookies, no rare parallels, no short It was tough. It was tough. So I just scrapped it and did basketball. I'm going to go in opposite year. So we got 2020 and 2021, and then we'll try to see if we can hit some A-Rod, uh, some 2022. Yang Chang. Feels like this is going to be a pretty standard heritage kind of fat pack. All right. Jordan. I mean, Jordan making a a name for himself rather quickly, so you don't want to poo-poo that as a nice rookie card. Uh, and in this particular set, you know, the black borders make it very hard to get in a good, uh, a good grade or, you know, to keep them gem mint. And this one looks really, really clean. So... Not too shabby there. Getting a 2021, which design-wise was, as many know, one of my favorite years. Just love that 72. It is so purely 70s. More than any other design, I would say, in the 70s. Anything hit crazy there? No. Of course, I guess we did picture whammy in our auto, but still. An auto out of a fat pack. That's good stuff. Hammer Valdez. These guys are dangerous. Key Brian also poised for a big year. Watch out for those Pirates, man. They got some good players. All right, Alex Verdugo. Shout out to all my Red Sox fans. Got a lot of them who like to watch shenanigans. Tim Anderson. Joey Bart also should have a good year, right? Tatis going to do his uh, apology tour. All right, so not great, but, you know, some nice cards, just fun, uh, fun stuff out of that design. Pretty cool Alex Verdugo there. And a nice Key Brian. Okay, let's get, so we've already scored. I don't know if we really, like, should be requesting last pack mojo, but it couldn't hurt. Lucky Totems, it couldn't hurt. look crazy no nothing super thick it's just some color change there but i don't see any chrome or any of that kind of stuff and this was a tricky year because so many cards like this look like they would be action variations and they were just regular cards i don't know if i've seen that one i like the look of that just kind of looking off camera like minor Come on, let's get some nice rookies here. Can we get a good one here? Zach Plesak. These are cool. I like these. We'll take that as a quality. I think that's that's like a you know nice another single there. Cabrera looking fierce. That almost looks like it would be a variation. No. That really looked like it could have been a variation of some kind, but I guess not. It's just a fun picture of Soto. We've got a little Soto action today. This was the, the Soto hour, but I'm uh, not going to complain about that, and I know he's going to have a great season in the super stacked Padres uh, shortstop uh, extravaganza lineup that they've got going on. Uh, but pretty fun. Uh, I, I'm a little surprised, actually. It was more fun than I thought, than I was going to expect out of that. Uh, always fun to pull in auto, Jeter scored, all that good stuff. But let's send it down onto the field, reveal the Wander Franco, and then we'll look at a couple highlights. 
During the eight breaks of Hanukkah, maybe our best night was the Stadium Club Hobby Box where we pulled this Wander Franco Auto Red Foil Redemption. Uh, it just arrived. I actually had to sign for this. Uh, I missed it the other day, and so I was eagerly awaiting. I finally got it in my hand. To Topps' credit, it came double bubble mailered with two top loaders keeping it protected. Uh, so let's reveal the card kaboom she is a beauty his autograph uh the scribble continues this is the second wander auto uh we have pulled did pull the bowman mojo refractor very very cool and something i was excited about actually two things not a sticker auto and it's numbered out of 50. that is why i had to sign for it because it was numbered out of 50. Really, there you go. Better look at that. 39 out of 50. I was really, really surprised to see it be numbered. I thought it was just going to be a red foil parallel, which usually red foils not numbered. Even red foil auto, I don't think they're numbered in product, like if you were to pull it. So I don't know if this is an extra special uh, wander, but uh, it's the same pose as his regular rookie card. Uh, as we can see here, card looks really, really clean. There is a little bit of white showing in this bottom left corner. Aside from that, it's a beauty. I probably, actually, I'd love to hear from you in the comments if I should take the sticker off and put it in another case to get a better view of the card. Um, I'd also be remiss, as always, check the description below for the link to the Clary Skolberg Scholarship. If this card is calling your name and you wanted to make a really, really nice donation to the scholarship and help some students go to college, uh, I would be very open to discussing that possibility with you. Uh, but there you go. Uh, great hit to get. Uh, was really a fun pull during the eight breaks of Hanukkah. Now let's look at some highlights. As I said during the rippage, this turned out to be a more fun episode of Fat Pack February than I expected. You know, we were ripping tough product, Heritage, Archives, Big League, uh, and even though we got to believe in the Fat Pack, those are tough things to pull autos out of, and so our belief was rewarded. It's a pitcher, usually it's a whammy, but Tom Henke, uh, one of the most feared and dominant closers of his era in the late 80s, early 90s, a World Series champion with the Blue Jays and had a great nickname in his heyday, the Terminator. Uh, we also got lucky with a nice Nico Horner rookie card uh, and the cool Juan Soto Defensive Wizards. Out of that Archives Fat Pack, we also pulled a numbered card out of 99, but it was Trevor Bauer, so no one's really collecting Trevor Bauer. Sort of like if you're Ron Weasley collecting wizard trading cards and you pull Voldemort, right? You don't really want that one. Uh, but like I said, really cool to pull an auto. Uh, that's, you know, belief rewarded Jeter scoring. Uh, gotta dig that during Fat Pack February. But let's close the episode with another look at the big Wander Franco redemption. I am very excited for the baseball season. We've already got players reporting to camp. We have the World Baseball Classic coming up, which should be an exciting watch because a lot of stacked teams in the World Baseball Classic. So cool to close out this episode with arguably our biggest hit from the eight breaks of Hanukkah, our Wander Franco red foil parallel autograph. I am so excited that A, it's not a sticker because there are a lot of sticker autos in Stadium Club, and B, number to 50. Was surprised to see that. Uh, made it even better. Kind of explained why I had to sign for it from FedEx. I thought every other redemption I've ever had just shows up in the mailbox. Why did I have to sign for this one? And that may explain it. Uh, but as I mentioned, I'd love to hear from you if you think I should take the sticker off and put this in a different case so it displays a little bit better. Uh, but I'd also love to hear from you in the comments of what you thought of the episode overall today. Pretty good one. Auto hit, you know, nice rookie cards, all that good stuff. Always looking forward to reading your comments. So lay on that like button. Make sure you're subscribed to all your friends. And I'll see you next time in the broadcast booth.